Adaptability to available space in very small high-speed aircraft is demonstrated by this A4D installation. For example, the maximum antenna aperture width available is 7 inches. This unique installation was accomplished by employing separate long, narrow antenna assemblies. The port beam is transmitted through the forward port radome and port beam echo energy received through the aft radome. A light assembly is employed for the starboard beam. The APN-126 units provide the same performance as antennas of single unit construction with equivalent aperture area. Simplified cockpit instrumentation continuously provides visual navigational information which guides the pilot accurately and reliably throughout the flight. Large navigation errors due to errors in estimated wind speed and direction are completely eliminated. From takeoff, the APN-126 radar navigation set is capable of accurately directing light attack aircraft to the target area. After the mission is accomplished, it accurately directs the pilot back to base. To continue with this story of adaptability, here is another navigational computer group, the Air Force ASN-7, which can be combined with the APN-122V to provide a system for certain tactical missions. This is but one example of how the Air Force could benefit from the use of the APN-122V and associated equipment. A final word about the APN-122V. The APN-122V is being combined with certain inertial units to provide a Doppler inertial system which is advantageous in aircraft such as the Grumman A2F carrier-based all-weather attack aircraft. Next, let us turn our attention to the Army's requirements for self-contained navigation. The Ryan Electronics Division has developed an integrated self-contained navigational and flight instrumentation system for Army aircraft. Like the APN-67 and the APN-122V, this all-weather set utilizes continuous wave Doppler sensing techniques. Designated the Ryan Model 120, it will play a major role in the Army's Nap of the Earth concept and the other advanced tactics characterizing our modern Army. The Model 120 is a complete integrated navigational system comprising a Doppler set, navigational computers, navigational and flight control displays, a vertical reference, and a heading reference. The Doppler portion of the Model 120 provides ground speed and drift angle and is functionally similar to the APN-122V. The principal differences are that it operates over a lower portion of the speed spectrum and that it utilizes less transmitter power. The Model 120 includes this pictorial display which continuously and automatically shows ground position and ground track. In certain missions, no other display is necessary. A major unit of the Model 120 indicates wind speed, wind direction, and provides counter-type displays of present position and destination. This unit shows ground track, relative bearing to destination, course error, and distance to destination. It shows the pilot the best course and shortest distance to his destination. The basic system is designed for fixed-wing aircraft applications. However, low-speed accessories may be added, as required, to provide for the very low speed and the hovering requirements of helicopters. In rotary-wing aircraft, this hovering indicator is provided to display heading speed, drift speed, and vertical speed. The Model 120 provides the Army increased flexibility in combat areas and it eliminates the need for ground radio stations with their attendant cost and vulnerability to attack. Flight tests have demonstrated an accuracy capability of 1 to 2 percent of the distance traveled. Finally, let's examine what has been done for the Navy's airships and helicopters. This is the APN-97 Doppler navigational set designed for use in helicopters. It utilizes four radar beams, weighs approximately 30 pounds, 
and operates from zero speed to plus or minus 150 knots. The APN 97 automatically and continuously displays the heading speed, the drift speed, and the vertical speed of the helicopter. It embodies the most advanced transistorization and etched wiring techniques. Outputs are provided for tie-in with automatic stabilization equipment to permit smooth and safe automatic transition from cruise speed to a hovering condition. The APN 97 permits sustained automatic hovering under conditions of poor visibility with better precision than can be accomplished by experienced pilots operating under the best of weather conditions. The APN-97 is a vital link in the Navy's all-weather ASW helicopter instrumentation program. It is in production. An equipment for airships is the APN-125. It is similar to the APN-97, except that it uses larger antennas and higher transmitted power. In the interest of standardization, its components are derived from the APN-97 and the APN-122V. The higher power and larger antennas are required to meet the operational altitude specified for airborne early warning airships. In addition to its applicability to the AEW airships, the APN-125 is also suitable for the anti-submarine warfare missions performed by airships. The initial research which served as the foundation for the present family of versatile CW Doppler automatic navigators was performed by the Naval Research Laboratory, Washington, D.C. This work, involving major contributions to the field of radar and aerial navigation, began as early as 1933. Ryan's job was to develop and prove equipment meeting the stringent operational and environmental requirements of military aircraft and to produce equipment representing the latest state-of-the-art in manufacturing techniques. With modern aircraft demanding accurate self-contained automatic navigation, it's fortunate indeed that Ryan CW Doppler navigational sets are available. Based on years of experience and thousands of flight hours, these navigational sets provide the most advanced concepts for present-day aerial navigation. Light in weight, accurate, Operationally reliable, versatile, and easy to maintain, they also promise to help overcome the new and challenging problems of the space age. You will see these versatile equipment doing their job in the study of jet streams, in the setting of speed records, in the recording of the Earth's magnetic field, in new missions over the ends of the Earth. During Army vertical envelopment operations. In hovering operations to catch the lurking enemy below. During extensive anti-submarine operations. in aircraft screening the far perimeters against aggressive dangers, in directing aircraft